Jovi and I'm back again to share another exciting and inspiring story here at GMMES Online Storytelling. And tonight, I want you to join me in discovering how someone was able to overcome his insecurities through this story of Eco, who, for the first time in his life, was able to find true friend. Let's go! Eco's First Friend by Alan Victor Misanucha and Agatha Barachina from Let's Read by the Asia Foundation. I just want to be loved. But how will I ever feel that way if people are always so distant to me? This worries me a lot. Since half of my body was burned, I was left bald, scarred, and ugly. That's why they thought I had a disease. That's why they seemed to hate me. I was a stray who just want to be feed, to play, and be loved by humans. While I was looking for some food, a group of kids throw stones at me while shouting, You're disgusting! Shoo! I ignored them and proceeded with my search for something to eat. But they won't stop, so I just left. I just want to be taken care of to be loved. But how will I ever feel that way if hurtful words are always thrown at me wherever I go? There are also kind humans who feed me, just like the kid at the bakery who gave me some bread. Thank you for the food. What is your name? I asked. I'm Kiko. How about you? I was about to say something, but I decided to leave and I noticed the increasing number of people by the bakery. Goodbye! I hear the kids say, there are a lot of people like Kiko who fits me, but there are also some who continually drive me away. One day, while I was looking for something to eat, I walked across the house. I climbed its fence and saw Kiko watering the plants. Just as when I was about to come to him, I saw a snake hissing behind his back. I quickly attacked it with my claws. Get off me! Get off me! I won't let you hurt Kiko. When Kiko saw the commotion, he ran quickly inside the house, shouting, Papa, come quick! There's a snake at our lawn! When the snake is no longer moving, I moved away. Kiko and his father quickly came out. Kiko pointed at me. I suddenly feel scared when he saw his father holding a shovel. He might hurt me, but when he came near, he picked the snake and put it inside the sack. Kiko's father walked to me. Kiko, what will you say to the cat? He asked. I was about to leave when Kiko called me. Thank you, Kiko said. He moved to my side and hugged me. I didn't realize that I fell asleep on Kiko's chest. Kiko, come here, let's play! Kiko called. They took me in, now they feed me and love me. I always play with Kiko and sleep by his side. I'm happy now. And that's the end of Kiko and Kiko's story of finding friendship with each other. Did you enjoy our story? If you were Kiko, would you also take Kiko in despite his appearance? Or would you be one of those kids who would not hesitate to throw stones at Kiko whenever they saw him? I hope everybody would be like Kiko who didn't look at Kiko's physical appearance. Despite Kiko's being bald and scarred, he did not hurt him. Instead, he fed Kiko and took him in. He loved and played with him. He accepted Eko for what he is. Please do not be like those kids who would always throw stones at Eko, who would always hurt and show Eko away. Please do not mistreat others just because you don't like how they look. Try to understand that everyone is different. Nobody wants to be hurt and feared at. Even us ourselves, doesn't want to be treated that way. We should always treat others equally. Scarred, bald or not, animals are human. Everybody deserves 
to be treated fairly. And if you feel like ego sometimes, being insecure, having no confidence, feeling so small and unwanted because of how you look like and because of how other people treat you, please don't. Other people might not see you the way you want them to, but one day, just like Iko, you would be able to find your own Kiko who would love and accept you for who you are. Your own Kiko who would recognize you not because of your physical appearance, but because of what you did to them and because you deserve it. And that's the end of our story for tonight and I hope that you learned something from Eco and Kiko's story. I'll see you again next week here at GMMES Online Storytelling. Thank you so much. Bye!